G'day everyone and welcome to this lesson for Easy Lover by Phil Collins and Philip Bailey. Let's hit straight into the first four bars of the intro. The rhythm is a little syncopated, so if you're having troubles, count it out one and two and three and four and, and see if you can work out where those notes line up. As far as the orchestration goes, I think from what I can hear, it's just flams on the snare drum, and then two hands, one on the second rack and one on the first rack. Moving on, we've got four more bars of this intro, and this is how it goes. Just a couple of quick things before we move on. I think the two snare drums in between the crash cymbals are easy to play with one hand. So it's We use that same pattern later on in the song. So grab it now and it'll make it easier later on. The other thing to point out is there are some extra kick drums underneath snare drums where I personally wouldn't play them usually, but I can hear them in the song. So include them if you want, but if they're a bit tricky, just make sure you get those kicks underneath the crash cymbals and that will sound good too. Moving on, the first couple of bars of this riff section, we're going to line up the kick drums right with the riff, just like this. That's the only time I can hear those extra kick drums, and it's a nice little touch to lock that in with the riff. Other than that, the second bar that I just played, kick, snare kick, kick, snare kick, kick. That's gonna be the pattern that we use through large sections of this song. Right through this whole intro section, that's all we're gonna do until we get up to this fill that goes like this. The orchestration of that fill is pretty crazy. I'll break it down one more time slowly. Hopefully seeing it slow makes it a bit easier to work out. Moving on, right throughout this chorus section, we just keep that same groove going that we were playing before. The one thing I would say about this is that we're kind of leaning on the one and the three and not making as big a deal about the ands on the kick drum that come just before it. That's just something that you can muck around with on your own though. The next thing to look at is a little fill right before we hit the verse. Now we're up to the verse, where the kick drum plays a syncopated pattern that locks in exactly with the riff in the song. It's important to try and get all the notes in the right place just so that it sounds nice and tight and nothing sticks out. I'm going to play the first four bars and then I'll go through the second four bars and then I'll put the whole thing together. Now the second four bars. And 
And now all those eight bars together. The verse goes around those eight bars again, exactly the same, except for the last two bars, so here they are. The next section is the pre-chorus. I hope you know exactly where we're up to. The beat here is pretty simple, but we've got a sizzled hi-hat right at the end of the second bar. And then at the end of the pre-chorus, going into the chorus, there's this fill. So the crash symbols in that fill are she's an easy lover. So hopefully you know exactly where we're up to in the song. That chorus carries on with that same simple beat, kick, snare, kick, kick, snare, kick, kick. Every now and again, there's a couple of different kick drums, but I won't worry about it. And if you hear them, you can pick them out yourself. The next thing to look at is a fill going back into the verse. From there, it's back into the verse using that exact same syncopated bass drum pattern from the first time around. The only difference is the fill at the end has a few more flams and goes like this. From that fill, we're back into the pre-chorus again, which for us on the drums is the section with the hi-hat sizzle right at the end of the second bar. But this time, the pre-chorus extends out a little bit longer before we hit the chorus. So here's the first four bars of that section now. And then the next four bars, which is going to lead us into the guitar solo. The guitar solo is that same straight ahead beat we've been using right throughout the choruses. Coming out of the guitar solo, we have this fill. That takes us into the pre-chorus once again and the fill at the end of the pre-chorus this time is a bit different once again and here's how it goes. From that fill, we are into choruses, and on the drums, there's hardly any fills right throughout this outro section. It's not until the song starts to fade out that we get a couple of little fills, so here's one fill that I picked out from that section.
And there we go. That's about all there is to look at in the drums for Easy Lover by Phil Collins and Philip Bailey. It's a great syncopated song with some really interesting fills. So I hope you have a lot of fun jamming that one. Happy practicing, everybody. And I'll see you at the next lesson.